everybody and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. My name is Susan. I'm your hostess. Today is another thrifty fun day. We, uh, my husband and I went uh, thrift store shopping and a, a couple of items that I picked up with my girlfriend recently at an earlier visit. Uh, so let's get this started. We found, well, my husband found a checkers game with all the checkers and the mat that when my grandkids come up to play, we'll have something for them to do. Um, it was $3.99. Not a bad deal. And we counted and made sure all the checkers were there. He also found two of these drawer organizers. They came from Walmart originally. Uh, they were $1.99 each. They look like they've never been used. And the silverware organizer tray was $2.99. We're not sure exactly where it came from. Probably Walmart also, but it's, it's a nice one. Um, so we're going to try that out on our we're going to try that out on our um, drawers to see if we can fix it. I'm sorry about that. I lost my light. I found this uh, earlier in the week. It is one of those silicone tray things, and I'm going to use it for making soap. It was $2.99 at, Walt, at uh, Goodwill. And what in the world will I do with a bag of these wine corks? They were $1.99. And I do have a plan for this, y'all. You'll have to wait and see. But I do have a plan for those. I have plenty of them. And I'm hoping to make several of the item. And my cookbooks. I got the Culinary Renaissance Creative Food Processor Recipes by Ann Greer, and it was the fifth printing of August of 1979. And of course, it's one of those spiral bound books. And it's got some recipes in here that I really thought, wow, I can make these. I can use my processor. I don't have a Quasinart, but I can use my food processor and get some good recipes out of this. This one was $1.99. And I got two other cookbooks. Well, this is more of a gift gift book or, you know, gifts in a jar kind of thing. Um, this is Gooseberry Patch. And it's more gifts for giving. And they got all kinds of recipes in here and ideas for gift giving. And we're always looking for inexpensive little gifts that we can give that are from the heart and because it's a hardback they charge $2.99 for that one and this other one is called Southern Sideboards it's a uh, from the Junior League of Jackson Mississippi and when I was flipping through it I was laughing because the recipes would say Mississippi this and Mississippi that. And I said, yeah, that's got to be a Mississippi cookbook. But it had some really nice recipes in it. Uh, my dad was born and raised in Mississippi. So anytime that I can find recipes that, you know, that would remind me of him and his family, I am happy. And this actually cost $12.95. It has the label on the inside cover of how much it cost and I'm not sure it, it says season 11 116 which is probably the code that they put in but it has all kinds of good recipes in it so I'm going to be looking forward to finding some good recipes to share with y'all my husband was most excited about this item because these are rapid straps and he bought two of them and they're for tools you know 
to wrap your cords with. Uh, you can use it for you can use it for different tools. You can use it for your iron cord or any other cords that you might have. And we paid $1.99 each for those. We didn't find any of the red tag items today, but we're really excited about all the items we did find. This is not part of it. I'm just moving it because I had to find a place to sit this big item. This, we're not sure where we're going to put it, but it's a, it's a nice little antique looking shelf, but it's not antique. It probably came from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it didn't have a Hobby Lobby label on it, but y'all know Hobby Lobby prices, and this is probably about a $30 item at Hobby Lobby, and we paid $5.99 for it, and of course, uh, I used my loyalty card, and I got 5% 5, uh, 5 off each item, so that saved us $1.60 today. That was a great big savings, y'all, but you know what? All them little dollars are going to add up. Two other items we got were wood cigar boxes. What in the world would we use a cigar box for? Well, if I can figure this out. There's the inside of that one. You know, years ago, girls would take these, these type and make purses out of them. Or a jewelry box. Um... My sister, I believe my sister had one that she had covered in matchsticks or somebody had covered in matchsticks and, and uh, sealed it and made her a little jewelry box out of it. But this one actually has a nice hinge on it. And we will use these to store small items in that might get lost that we don't have drawer space for. Um... They come in handy for hiding things because how many people are going to come in here and go into a cigar box that you know? So we, we picked these up from time to time, and my husband picked them up. He liked them. He paid $2.99 a piece for them. So that's not a bad price, $2.99 a piece. And the, they really aren't that bad looking you know, when you think about it. Of course, we don't use tobacco products, but the boxes are nice and they come in handy. While we were down in Mississippi getting chicken feed this morning, y'all know that I have cut out some patterns for aprons and I actually was looking for fabric to match, you know, the, the aprons that I had, had done. But I didn't have the material for the straps. There's another one that I've cut out with a pocket. And here's another one. That I cut out with the pocket. And I was looking for some red fabric and blue fabric. Well, there's a Hobby Lobby down there, y'all. And it was conveniently located near that Walmart. So I got a yard of this cotton fabric to go with the rooster with this, this material. So I think those will go together nicely. You can see. And then I have two patterns cut out with this other rooster fabric. I use, that's the pocket on this one. And then I have a different pocket on that, that one. So I got two yards of this because it was the end of the bolt. And I don't like leaving the end of the bolt if I can help it. So that will go with either one of these. So y'all will be seeing me in some fancy schmancy aprons here soon as I get them sewn. And that's all I have for you today. I hope that you're having a wonderful weekend. May the Lord bless and keep you.
If you like any of the items that I found today, please comment below and tell me what they were. I look forward to your comments, and thank you again for watching.